family in love. There's a current trend going around at the moment around churches in Lagos. We thought it was far from us, actually. But unfortunately, some two weeks ago, 10th of uh, March to be precise, we were visited and a car was stolen from our church. The carjackers are all over the place around the churches within Lagos, actually. As at the time the incident happened, immediately we went to Ojedu police station to report the incident, and we were told that that moment we reported the case, they were tracking about six cars from different churches around Lagos. Because the incident was immediately reported to the, they have a radio, uh, radio room, for the police command where all incidences of this nature are reported to. So immediately it was radioed to that place and they set to, to work, you know, to see if they were able to recover the car. We thought they would recover the car immediately, but that did not happen up, up until now. They still promised that indeed they will recover because they have extended the search beyond Lagos. They did that almost immediately, actually. Because after Bega is also Ogun State, so they had to put it on the, um, the radio room, the platform for Zone 2, just to cover, to see if they'll be able to recover. I know that um, a lot of us are not happy about it. No one is happy. But it's an unfortunate incident that has happened. And by all means, the church council members will be meeting to see what we can do differently. I will need for sure the um, cooperation of all parishioners to be able to, to keep our vehicles and all our properties and even ourselves safe because we have children that move around. We don't know what their next line of action will be. So by all means, we need to be alert we need to be responsible. We need to be self-secured where we we'll ask other person to try to secure our properties while you are in a church. So like I said, a parishioner's car, Elizabeth was also the vice chairperson of CWO. They stole her car, Toyota car. And one information we got from the police that Toyota is now the the good for those guys, for those people. Because they use the engine for so many things. And it's also the most rugged vehicle that you have around uh, Nigeria Road. So if you have a Toyota, extra step has to be taken to be sure your car is not stolen. Just last Sunday, just to give you some bit of uh, insight, last Sunday there was an attempt on three cars at once at St. Timothy Ojodi, Ojodu three cars at once. And the only thing that saved this, those three cars is just, there was this brave woman. She's a policewoman. She saw it. She was already late for, for mass, and she needed to pack. And she saw some strange guys, about three of them, trying to, you know, they were, they were wandering around the, the three cars. And in fact, they made an attempt already. So she accosted them, Ask them if they are the owner of the, the three vehicles. They said uh, they are mechanic. What do they say? is a driver. Driver of which car? They could not, you know, carry on. So three, two of them ran immediately. And in the lady's uh, uh, this thing, uh, voice, she said, uh, she started punching uh, this arm. So, you know, and he pulled, was able to pull the guy, that one of them, down. But unfortunately, she could not, because he's a, he's a hefty guy, could not, uh, you know, pin him down for order for help to come. That was how they ran. And parishioners came out, the owners of the car said, who opened my car? The cars were already open. Last Sunday, St. Timothy, Ojodun. And in the last 
three months, they've stolen cars and all of that from St. Timothy. And they are stealing. That same Sunday that our issue happened, there was another one in Festac, a Catholic church. A car stolen. So it's something that is rampant and it's something that we need to be conscious of. In security, there are three Ds. You deter, you detect, you defend. So, unfortunately, detecting in our case, what happened last Sunday, we were not able to do that. But going forward, there must be a response from us. So the council met severally, and we agreed on certain measures that we need to put in place going forward with your cooperation. Because it's not going to be done by the parish priest or any one of us. And let me, before I read out the measure, please, um, Felix, are you there? Can you please show? You? Um, going around this morning, before coming to this church, by the way, the number of vehicles that we have as we sit is about 180 cars in the church now, 180 cars. That is the average number of vehicles that we have here, first mass, second mass. And I was going around. Somebody thought he has locked his car. The same place that they stole that car, the front seat, the front doors were locked. As you speak, I have the picture, I have the scene. But the back doors were open, making that car vulnerable, inviting them to come and do whatever they feel like. So it's important for us to really be, take extra care to be sure that our vehicles are locked going forward. So these are things that we have done so far. And what we have done are basically, basically, immediate step. There will be short and long-term measures that will come into, into play. But these are the immediate steps that we have taken. So volunteer protocol and security officers already deployed. They are volunteers. We're not paying them. Just seven of them to serve both money, first and second mass, and of course, coming for evening. So what that means is that we need more volunteers. And this is not limited to the youth. It's actually for all of us. So we are begging. If you are moving the spirit to help the church, to secure the church, and the cars and properties and individuals in this church, please visit, do where to visit the parish priest office and register your name. We're also asking that no parishioner should park beyond the faster school, that junction, please don't park where the newspaper vendor is. Don't park beyond that place. We don't have visibility. Even getting to that point is already difficult. There are so many uh, blind spots leading to that place. So we are begging that you don't park beyond that place. Also, Lola Holloway, this Agoro Street, that junction leading to Lola Holloway. If you get to that place, please, we are also asking that we don't have visibility beyond we don't have the manpower and the foot on the ground beyond that, um, that place. We're also begging that we obey the instruction of the protocol and security officers that we have in the church. The truth is, it's an elite parish like the parish which you say, but the truth is that these officers are human beings. Because what they usually tell them is, who are you? And I, my answer is always, they are human beings. Like you and I. Only employed to save, save guide. I try as much as possible to, 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 to be sure that our properties are safe while we are in church, you know, praying to God. Somebody was told last Sunday, last Sunday here, after the incident happened, you brought your car, a lady brought the car to the church, did not lock her the door, did not do anything, and they asked her, please, can you come and do this thing? And the, the lady said, what are you paid for? He is not paid, they are not paid to safeguard your car. I said, we have over 180 cars within this vicinity. It will be difficult for for about seven security men or protocol officers to now start safeguarding every single car that we have in the church. 
So it doesn't cost you a thing. It's just one minute or some second to go back to your car to be sure that your car is properly locked. Park responsibly. This morning, somebody parked, and the way the person parked, three cars, he took the space for three cars. I believe it's not proper. And we should not tolerate things like that. So we are begging everybody so that everybody will be able to accommodate as many cars as possible within this uh, space. We are asking that you park responsibly. There is also uh, a common trend. I'm sure a good number of us know about it. We are asking that you double check your electronic locking system. What I know very well is that these guys are smart. They are wizards when it comes to electronic stuff. When you are making an attempt, you think you have locked your car, as you press your button, activate your button, they are also deactivating immediately. As you go off, it's easy for them to go into your car. So what are we asking? What are we begging? We are begging that you should please, when you activate your listen, don't be too far before you activate your, your lock. And when you activate, please try and check to be sure that all the four doors or whatever number of doors, everything is locked. Like I said today, the man is in church now. Funny, good thing is not, okay, it's not, it's not good, he's a human being, he's also like us. He is from um, Anglican Church. But he's there in church thinking he has locked his cars. Meanwhile, the two doors at the back are open. Are open. If you are unsure, please go back. Now, the, the incident of St. Timothy that I narrated last, uh, for last Sunday, we are also asking that please be like that woman. When you leave your car, please check around for any strange fellow. If you see any strange fellow and you don't have what it takes to, to ask or to confront the individual, call the attention of any of the protocol officer and immediately they will be mobilized to, they will mobilize themselves to go and ask questions where to know if the individual is a parishioner or is even the owner of the car. We are also begging and asking if you have the means, install modern alarm and locking system. What this will do for you, because I know of so many cars, when you drive off, if you steal my car, for instance, it can only take you for a certain distance, eh? and that is the end. I have, okay, let me not say I have. Um, <laughs> I know some people who have the system, they can actually end off their car from where they are. And there's also the one that is connected to your fuel system, to your fuel tank. They will cut it off and the vehicle will not move again and you are able to recover your car. So I am asking that we will visit uh, the expert to see what they can do in that uh, space. Uh, one more thing I'd like us to, to, to talk about is to ensure our keys because I was also told that some people used to keep their, care, their spare key carelessly. In fact, some people, there is a place in their car where they hide it. In case anything happened, they misplaced their car, they will be able to break in and go into, because they don't want to go back home to pick the spare key, they want to break in there and pick the spare key from there and start their car and move again. Please don't keep your car under your, your car key, your spare key under your car and keep it safe. So like I said, these are just immediate measures that we have put in place. Uh, we are, of course, uh, working on uh, short and long-term measures that will come to, to the fore. Part of it is technology. How do we deploy technology to be more secure? That's exactly what we'll be doing going forward. So thank you very much, and God bless all of us. Good morning. <laughs>